20 types of me. I feel like such a, I feel like freaking Tatiana with all this makeup on, like, who does she think she is? So in today's video, I'm going to be doing this Bratz transformation, like Bratz doll makeup look challenge thing that is like submerged from the YouTube community over the weekend. I saw somebody do this video a couple days ago and then all of a sudden I seen a bunch of them and I wanted to, you know, hop on this trend because I think it's so cute. I've always like admired Bratz dolls growing up and how they're like so like bold and like fashionable and they're a little sassy, you know, I just always was like, wow, that's so cool. I was personally a Barbie doll girl though, so I didn't really own any Bratz or anything. So sorry, Bratz company. And I'm a fake fan, I have to admit it. But yeah, I saw this picture of this Bratz doll. I don't even know her name because I'm literally, I'm fake. So, but it just inspired me to do this cute little Valentine's Day-ish kind of doll look. And I even tried with the pins, but as you can see, my fluffy poofy hair doesn't really allow for that. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I made this look, then make sure you keep on watching this video. And please don't forget to check out my other videos. I have some more tutorials and I have some other like lifestyle-y videos up too. And I have a lots of videos planned for the future. So yeah, new year, new me. Maybe I'll actually post videos this year. So let's just go ahead and get into the transformation. So to start off this Sasha. It's my turn. Can you guys not be so loud for a second? I'm going to be using my modern renaissance and I'm going to be taking one of these two shades and doing my eyebrows because as you can see, my good sis has reddish mobby maroon eyebrows and also I changed my video setting like my filming setup because we're just not thriving right now my room is just a hot mess I'll show you a clip um insert a clip but um yeah also I have this on and hoop earrings because I want to be a brat girl so I really hope this comes off before school tomorrow so that's all I have to say Oh, my eyebrows look a little bit questionable, but I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with the e.l.f. Mineral Primer, and then while that's kind of melting into my skin, I'm just going to go ahead and go on my Makeup Revolution Concealer, and I'm just going to conceal my brow. I'm literally just going to do a voiceover because honestly, the background noise is bothering me so much, and I am so sorry that you have to deal with this, but I tried to get my brother and his friend to go upstairs, but they literally wouldn't listen to me. Love that for me, but yeah, I'm just kind of sealing my lids with the um, Makeup Revolution Concealer. I love this stuff, and also, it's actually really hard, as you can see with my poor brows. Didn't look very well, but at least from up close. But it's hard to can, uh, to fill your eyebrows in with um, maroon eyeshadow. So I just cleaned my brows and prepped my lid. I personally love this concealer. I actually love it better than my Shape Tape, which... That's the thesis, so... And just blending it out. And I also blend it between my eyebrows because putting red shadows in your eyebrows is not very easy. It's not as easy as you think it would be. But it's also currently 10-13 on a school night, so we're really thriving right now. To set that, I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me powder just to set my lids and give me like a really nice powdery base to do the eye look with. And I personally think that it's better to have a lot of powder in your eyes when you're doing eyelids. I mean, when you're doing eye look because it gives more... Um, like powder with the shadows to blend with if that makes any sense Hopefully it makes sense, but yeah The red brows are really something hard to get used to because I'm like what's happening So as we can see sister has a little um, she's like a pink crease and then like a nudie pinky Lid so I'm gonna do a cut crease I guess we're gonna try it. We're gonna go for that. Also. This is a shirt I just got out of the shower in order to have my hair down. I needed to wet it so that's why it's wet and it's in a t-shirt, so yeah, we love that. But um, also I'm out of focus, good. But yeah, I'm just gonna go use my Morphe 35B palette, which no longer they like make, so it's pretty kind of special that I have it. And I'm gonna go in with like these two pinks in the crease and then probably this pink on the lid just to give it like the nice shimmery kind of pretty look, so. My favorite blending brush of all time is this Wet n Wild one for literally a dollar, so. Get hip, ladies, get hip. And I'm going really heavy in with this color because whenever I think of brat stalls, I think of very like pigmented, very bold, very dark makeup and looks. So we're just gonna go really hard with this color. 
so we did makeup is very very really hope my eyelids aren't stained tomorrow because that would be good fun and fresh I might go in with a little bit of a tiny tiny bit of red ochre for my modern renaissance and like put that in the inner like crease but like just a tiny bit so honestly I'm feeling a little bit lazy and I'm just going to go on with my pinky finger and put on the really sheer pink color from the 35B palette and just put that on my inner eyelid just to kind of fake a cut crease because we don't actually need to do one since I left a little bit of skin showing on my lids we're just gonna do that instead also today I did my nails acrylic nails all myself these ones are better because this is my this is my writing hand so these ones look a little better but I'm really proud of myself oh there's something on this one I'm gonna go back in with the pink color and just blend it together a little bit just so it's not like such a harsh transition between sheer and light and honestly I think pink looks are like my favorite because literally all the videos on my channel are either purple or pink looks because I think those are just the most flattering and especially on me like with brown eyes I think pink and like maroony looks look really good on me so I'm not trying to brag but they're kind of uh, my thing so you know, you know I'm gonna hate myself for making all these faces also by the way she has little white freckles I don't know if you can tell and then she has hearts on her like under eye area and I have freckles so I think in order for them to show up the best I'm gonna have to cover up my freckles a little bit so we're just gonna do that real quick and then also I want to bring some of this pink shadow underneath the eyes and just so it doesn't get confused with like my kind of darker under eyes we're gonna just make everything one color also this definitely doesn't really match me that well right now but it's the only concealer I can find of mine so we're gonna use it I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush that I used earlier for the pink shades and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes to kind of just complete the look and balance it out Actually, let me use a smaller brush before I make myself look stupid. So. I'm going to go back with my finger and put more of that sheer shade on my inner eyelid just to make that really pop more too. Next, I'm going to do a little line of eyeliner since her eyeliner does seem to be a little a thicker side. So, I'm going to use my black liquid liner from e.l.f. because it's like one of my favorites of all time. Hopefully, I don't mess this up though because that would be really upsetting. I should be like, hope I don't mess this up because that would be really not good for my sanity. So off camera, I did my lashes. I'll put the name of these lashes up here somewhere because I honestly kind of forgot. I'm pretty sure they're the Kiss Corsa lashes though because they're the most dramatic ones that I have. And like, you know, Brad Saul's are very dramatic, very... You know so and then on the bottom I put some mascara and I don't know what brand mascara it is either. I'm pretty sure it's my friend Jordan's but if you can actually wait let me just use my technology okay that might not focus ever oh it did okay so like when I did my mascara I actually purposely like hit my lower lash line with the mascara wand so it'd be a little bit black so I didn't have to go in with any black eyeliner because I suck at doing that and it's really hard and I also did um, concealer all over my face because as you can see the color difference the skin the skin tone jumped out it's all almost now we're gonna do the little freckles and the hearts that she has on her face so we're gonna zoom you back in actually I'm also really scared to do this on camera because I don't know how well my artistic skills are gonna be at this um, at this hour of the night so let's just see for the little white dots I'm gonna use my NYC okay that was too far NYC white eyeliner just do little baby freckles okay little baby sharks and they're really faint and really light so I don't want to do too many kind of look diseased but we tried that's all that matters we tried okay so literally three seconds ago I said make them small and low-key but here I am doing gigantic dots on my face okay so for the hearts underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the um, Wet n Wild Color Con Lipstick. And this is the one in Two Tulip to Quit. Pretty clever. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. It's really, really super um, like exact and small. And I'm going to just draw the five hearts on my cheeks. Let's just pray they don't ruin the look right now because 
there's a lot resting on this. Also, I should not have went so hard with the dots. That was kind of a mistake. Like with Bratz doll makeup, you either go in or you go, what is it, go big or go home? Yeah, that's what this is. But luckily, hearts are a shape that you can definitely fake. Um, like if they were like stars or like something, I would not be able to be successful at all. But like hearts, you really can just do two dashed lines at a point and then... All right, sister, so we actually didn't mess it up as bad as we thought, as bad as I thought I would. We'll go on the wrong way. But they actually, I wish I would have done so many um, eye freckles, but it's fine. It's too late to turn back now. So for lips, I'm going to use the same lipstick, but she kind of has like a dark outline around her lips. And I don't really know how I'm going to do that because I don't have any dark lip liners. So I'm wondering if I could use like a brown. And also the Bratz girls have big lips and I clearly do not. So I'm going to try to overline these. Should have put on some chapstick. That would have really been helpful. You're laughing at me. Oh my gosh, this makes my teeth look so yellow. Yeah, I look like a freaking crackhead. My lips line like this. <laughs> not cute, not cute. I'm just gonna put the lipstick on over this because this is not going how I plan. <laughs> From far away, it looks decent. Oh, I have a bogey in my nose. Okay, now they look lopsided. All right, so I'm gonna let my lips dry down a little bit before I add the gloss over top of it. But I think that the, like that white line is really kind of getting to me. So I'm gonna go over the whole cheek with some blush. Blush bar palette by Benefit. I love this palette. It has ballerina on it. I'm a ballerina. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the. I'm gonna mix Dandelion in California because oh, she has a really like pink blush on over top her cheeks. So we're just gonna like. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the pink eyeshadow from um, that Morphe palette and put that in there too. Just really want this pink to show. All right, sisters, so the look is pretty much done. For some extra little additions, add addition. For some extra little glam additions, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk lip gloss and just put a little bit of gloss over my lips, mainly the center of my lips. And then I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighting Powder, which Y'all, this stuff is stunning. I'm not gonna do anything on my cheeks because there's already a lot going on there. I'm just gonna do a little bit on my brow bone and then on my nose and like really get that like. <laughs> this is a mess. This looks like crack, so. But ready guys? Just just watch this nose highlight, ready? You're not ready for it. This thing was also like $4, so ready? Also, I can't believe I just, okay, that's actually a lot. I kind of went overboard. Psycho. But I saw that really pretty highlight. And then I take one more highlight and just. And I usually have like a big pimple on my temples, but I actually don't today. So we're gonna take advantage. Is this in focus? We're gonna take advantage of that and actually use this little little highlight. And I'm gonna need a little bit up here. Just a little bit, just to get some fun freshness going on, you know. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of my Keith's bow as well. More action. Fenty, Fenty, as I stated earlier. I just love this one so much. She's so pretty. Like, I feel like the other lip gloss she has is a little bit more, I don't know, I feel like I'm too light for that one. I personally like this one better on me. Okay, that's really a lot. This is, I think, we might have done it. I'm going to go get some little hair clips for my hair. And then I will show you guys the final look. All right, everybody. So this is the completed Bratz doll inspired look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it was really weird in the beginning, but it was just hard for me to film. And also, as we can tell, these um, barrettes, I'm going to have to Photoshop some in because I could not get my curly hair to pin down, to bust down, if you will. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly the same thing, but I think it's pretty similar. And yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. Watch some of my older videos. Leave some comments. Leave some likes. You know, support me because I just want to be a booty guru like everybody else is. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, hopefully. Bye.